Due to its popularity in OG Warzone, there's no question the Grau is one of the most anticipated weapons COD Mobile has had in a while. As a weapon that's meant to be a long-range assault rifle, obviously it has a lot of utility in Battle Royale, but it's not always a one-for-one -one trade when we get it in COD Mobile, so we're going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks for whether or not you should use it in multiplayer or BR, and how to make it the best you can. Drop a like if you haven't already, and we'll hop in the action. Bulldozer Primal Threat's definitely a unique character skin. Never going to be mad about a new GKS. We do have a level 50 reward reward for the growl, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't even know that I want it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. You know what? We gotta do it for the content. At least pulling out the Battle Pass bundle, definitely big value there, so we get a couple extra skins on top of the 12 levels that we get already. Alice Enchanted Woods. SPR with no skin on the scope. I wish they would start adding skins for SPR scopes, because I think it would look really good. But the skin itself I can't complain about. You know what, whatever. We'll just go ahead and get it all the way up to level 50. Gotta do it for the content. We see the free one there at level 21. I don't know what that new perk is. We get a backpack to go with our skin, the summon dark emote, which actually goes really well with the character. They got a epic Elkar? I don't think I knew that was in the battle pass. Interesting. Samuel Mighty Cyclops. I actually kind of rock with that. That kind of gives me uh, almost Jon Snow vibes. We got a Hades skin. It's got lots of geometric changes. It's interesting. And it's all the, also the Hades. I feel like we got another very recent Hades skin. Am I wrong about that one? Or... Uh, I'm 90% I'm sure we got a Mac 10 here. I don't know why they have a rare Mac 10 with an epic intro and then last but not least We do get the key or the growl goodness gracious and the Wraith Berserker naturally first things first We got to go ahead and get the skin equipped and max it out level 53 here we go the first thing you need to know about the Grau is that each of these individual barrels actually changes the iron sight, which is a cool feature we've never seen in COD Mobile before. Although I'm looking at it now and I'm wishing that I hadn't bought the epic version because the epic version doesn't change the battle passes because you can't change the default look. Oh no. All right, well, the first thing you need to know is don't automatically upgrade for the epic. Definitely not worth it. But the second thing you need to know is that the Archangel barrel has some of the cleanest iron sights in the entire game and definitely the cleanest for the gun. It is most definitely built for the long range, so this is something that you're more than likely going to want to use in Battle Royale, especially with an extra 35% damage range and 30% bullet speed. This is going to work wonders, and the downsides are going to hurt you a lot in multiplayer. The XRK Zen has a decent iron sight, and honestly not terrible downsides and pretty solid upsides. I don't know why anybody would use the Squall. If you're a psycho who wants to build it out like an SMG, you can use the Drifter, but I would say maybe the best overall value, and honestly one of the better iron sites available is going to be on the FSS Nexus. With only 14% of overall downside and what upwards of 70% of upside, this is a huge value barrel and I think what's likely going to be the meta. Second thing you need to know is you need an extended mag. With only 30 rounds of base magazine, the Grau is very much in need regardless of whether you're in multiplayer or battle royale of an extended bag. And fortunately, the 50 round does not have a whole lot of downside and there's a lot more when it comes to the 60 round and only 10 more bullets. Third thing you you need to know is the equivalent attachments whenever it comes to the grips. Cronin Sniper Elite is your granulated grip tape, FTAC is your rubberized grip tape, and the XRK Void is your stipple grip tape. Obviously we're going to use the Cronin because we love BSA. Now we've already got some solid bullet speed on this which means we're not going to hurt too much in the long range but unfortunately the Grout doesn't have fantastic BSA either. Even with the granulated grip tape and the barrel that we put on it's still lacking significantly which means we're going to need to compensate in some other ways. The Ranger Foregrip is one attachment that I think is honestly very very underrated and especially if you're planning to play longer angles in multiplayer it's one that can actually be viable even though it may not be comfortable to start out the combination of recoil control and bsa that you get from the ranger foregrip is going to make the grow a lot more competitive with the meta assault rifles being able to four tap 100 percent of the time all the way out to 27 meters with the build that we have right now this is where the decisions start to get a little bit more difficult because we come to attachments that have really big upsides and really big downsides you want to be able to avoid having to six tap as much as possible with any long range assault rifle so we're trying our best to get that 44.8 meters moved all the way back to 60. Obviously the monolithic suppressor is going to be our best chance to do that and even though we do lose out on some bullet spread accuracy I think overall it's going to be worth it and right here we have our ultra range build for the growl so now it's time to test it out. Honestly the movement speed and the ADS speed are not nearly as bad as I expected them to be. Honestly the movement speed feels phenomenal and naturally the recoil is non-existent. In the close range, it is going to be possible to three-tap with this thing, but it's going to be incredibly inconsistent. 
And as you can see, out to 20 meters, you're going to be able to maintain that. And even out to 30 meters, four tapping is possible, although it's not going to be nearly as consistent. I think the Grau is absolutely going to be able to keep up with some other options like the Kilo, which we'll compare to real quick. And when you look at the two with a very similar build, there's honestly a lot of upsides for the Grau over the Kilo. Better rate of fire, it does have slightly worse bullet spread accuracy, but much easier to control recoil. Better ADS speed, basically the same hit flinch and mag capacity. Better strafe speed, better movement speed, and better sprint speed. I don't know why you wouldn't use the Grau. Let me know you guys' thoughts, drop a like down below, I'll see you guys in the next one.